Welcome to SketchWow. In this video, we're going to go through and really quickly walk through all the major functions of this amazing software so you can start using it for yourself as quickly as possible. Now, I'm running SketchWow Pro, and in this version, we have over 100 templates that we can choose from. So you have a couple options with starting a new sketch. You can either click on the new icon up here in the upper left hand corner and we'll go through that in a few minutes to create your own custom sketches and designs or you can choose one of the pre-made templates. So we're going to choose a template to start off with and just roll through and show you exactly how the software works. So you click on a template and then voila, it appears on the canvas and now you can simply go and just start double clicking on things and making changes to the text if you want to and you can start to customize it. Pretty simple, right? Now before we dive into all the ins and outs of working on the canvas, I want to direct your attention to the left menu over here and to show you what these options are here. So we have the select tool, which really allows you to go and highlight any element on the canvas. You can use your mouse to click on that or as you, you see here, you can press the S key on your keyboard as a keyboard shortcut, which is what I do, which really saves you a lot of time once you really start moving around quickly on the canvas and doing things in a more advanced fashion. You'll notice here we also have elements. You can click your mouse button or you can click E on your keyboard and this allows you to go through and utilize hundreds of different shapes we have inside the software. You'll see here you can basically go and just drag and drop a shape onto the canvas and you can resize it, move it around, double click on the middle, add some text, all that fun stuff. Or what you can do is you can go back here and you can click on the shape again or just drag your mouse in place where you want to have that shape appear, okay? So a couple of different options for you depending on what works best for you. Of course, you can hide this menu if you want to get out of the way, give you some more space, you're doing a presentation or want to show this on a Zoom call, for, for example. You can hide that, make it a little bit more clean, entirely up to you, or we can just show that menu. And as you can see, when we click on an actual shape, we can change the fill, okay, of that shape. You can change the color, use custom colors, all that fun stuff. You can adjust the stroke opacity as you see here. So this allows you to basically see the lines getting lighter around the actual shape. We can also change the fill opacity and as you see here now it becomes more of a see-through type of color, right? And you can change the stroke width. If you want to have a more kind of a broad pen if you will. You can see now it's getting a lot more uh, broad in terms of the actual width of the line. And something else I want to draw your attention to is something called hand drawn effect. One of the really cool features of SketchWow is that you can make any of your diagrams and drawings have a really cool hand drawn effect without you having to take a pen to paper and, and draw by hand, which is what people love about it. So as you can see here, if I slide this to the right, it's going to get a little bit more messy uh, than going to the left where it becomes very, very clean. Let me just make the actual fill opacity a bit more so you can see that, right? So again, hand drawn look going to the right here. And if I click on the random eyes button here, it's gonna give me a very cool random effect. Now that's really important because if you're creating multiple shapes on a page, right? Like this here, you don't want them all looking the same because that obviously shows it's not hand drawn. Where what we can do now is see this, we can make these look very unique so that as I see these two side by side, they don't look the same at all. They have very different effects, right? Uh, once again, we can add text in between here. We can adjust that text by utilizing different fonts here, going down the font list. Also, we can change the font size here. Also, we can use bold. Okay, and again, we can change the font opacity. So you have a lot of options available here on how you apply elements to the canvas, uh, how you use different shadings or fills or opacities uh, or fill styles. There's a lot of different options for you to really get a unique look when you're designing your own uh, sketches utilizing SketchWow, okay? The next thing I wanna talk about is using connector lines. So let me go here and I'm gonna use the selector tool I'm going to either use my keyboard shortcut to select all, or we'll just drag all of this here, click the delete key, and boom, fresh clean canvas, okay? So go back to elements. I'm just going to draw a few here just for demonstration purposes. Now, connector lines are accessed using the 
menu here on the left, or you can push the L key on your keyboard once again. So you have a few options here. You'll notice that you can basically draw a line anywhere you want to connecting two objects. And when you see those red points appear, it means those lines are connected and you can move the objects around and the lines stay in place. When you click on the connector line, you again have many options here. The opacity of the, the stroke, uh, you can actually change the stroke width, make it a little bit thicker. You can use a dash line, fine dash line, solid. Also, you can choose to use different arrows if you want to, or actually endpoints or starting points. So a lot of different options here available with the actual line connectors. Once again, we can use the hand-drawn effect to really get some a uh, nice hand-drawn look, or you can just slide that all the way to the left and have a nice clean design with no hand-drawn look at all, okay? Uh, also, we can add very simply uh, text here right into the actual, um, and we can move it around like this here as well, okay? Also change uh, the color of the font, the size of the font, bold font, you get the idea. There's all types of things you can do when you're adding connector lines and you're also adding text to the actual uh, connector line as well. Let me just uh, go back here and erase this here and I'm going to add another collector line and show you something else pretty cool. One thing we can also do is make these animations. So you'll notice whenever I change the connector to a dash line, a little option here comes up that says animate. I can click on that and actually I can animate this now, which really makes your sketches and diagrams come alive, right? Well, it's one of a cool feature you have inside SketchWow. So that can be added to any uh, diagram. You can add those animated connector lines anytime you want to. Also, the cool thing is this also applies to the pen or the pencil. Utilizing your keyboard, you can click P or M for marker, or just as I'm using here, click on the actual menu item. And you'll see I can go and do freehand drawing on the canvas and once again by using the selector I can select this and have the exact same controls as we had in the past. I can increase the stroke width. Also I can actually choose um, a dash line and once again we have the option to animate that. So this gives you a lot of options in terms of really creating some cool effects. Like if you want to go and create like an animated box like this to surround you know a piece of text or something or what you can do to be a little more clean you can also use your shift key and then use your mouse to draw the actual shape you want to and as you see here it creates a perfect shape rather than using things by freehand real quick to wrap up here on the right hand side there's lots of different menu items you can uh, zoom out zoom in redo undo also you can work with layers if you're working with designs where it has multiple layers on top you can use these key these little shortcuts here to move layers up and down and backwards and forwards which is real handy also you can do the exact same commands by just using the right click on your mouse we have cut copy duplicate paste delete select all and of course you can click any of these menus here to change the actual layering of the elements on the canvas also we can flip any object or design utilizing flip vertical or flip horizontal. And I'll show you how that works right now. If I go and click on any one of these shapes here, I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. I could use this shape here, drag it over. Oh, that's uh, weird looking. <laughs> we're going to change the actual uh, stroke back to uh, something somewhat normal. Uh, take away some of that hand-drawn effect. And I can just right click, I can go flip vertical, and it's going to allow me to come now use an upside down um, face. So any element, any object you have, any icon can be used and you can flip that horizontally or vertically just to give you some more options when you're using the software. And as a quick sidebar, if you really like the animations that you see inside SketchWow, you also have more options under the elements menu to include some animated icons. And those are really cool. They really give your sketches a lot of eye candy, make them pop, and everyone loves animation, right? So you simply just go in here and just click on any one of these icons, drag them over, and now you have animated icons ready to go that you can add to any part of your actual sketches within SketchWow. So it really makes things come alive, really makes things a lot more fun, it really gets the attention of your audience where you can incorporate some of these animated visuals right into your SketchWow drawings. 
Now, last thing is you might want to create some additional pages. We can go on the bottom here, click on page two. We can add, you know, even more elements. If you're doing sort of a slideshow, if you will, and you want to go and showcase different pages. So now we have another you know, set of um, drawings here. Then you click on page one, there's page one, there's page two, and you can add more and more pages if you want to. It really depends on uh, what you want to do. Last, there's a few options here on the top menu. You'll notice you can go and click on the document size to change the actual width and height of the document. Or you can click on fit to content and it's going to go and actually adjust everything accordingly with some padding around the outside if you want to. Or you can choose the file menu and save this sketch or export it in various formats to use this outside of SketchWow in your presentations, documents, and everything else. That's about it, folks. It's kind of the quick one, two, three of really becoming familiar with SketchWow. I hope you have fun using the software. There's a lot of things I haven't shown you here you'll dive into once you become a more advanced user. And more importantly, I hope you have fun with it and create some really amazing, eye-catching visuals utilizing your SketchWow software.